Oh shit, that's my face. Switch it up. I'm on live. <laughs> We're gonna let that happen. I should do that too, right? You should do that, yeah. That's our neighbor with the help. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm gonna let a couple little people do their job and, and salute our seven o'clock happy time for all of our workers. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Pick the right time to get on. <laughs> right, Everyone's so, cheering, look at the cheering for the health care worker. I love it. This Thank you for your support. It's an amazing feeling. So we're gonna set our timer. So as soon as they're done, we got two minutes to appreciate. Set our timer for 30 minutes when we officially start. That's the guy with the three kids always. <laughs> so today, you guys on Instagram last night helped me pick out four ingredients out of the eight that uh, my host, Eric, uh, picked out for me. So uh, we went through our pantry, went through our refrigerator, we took proteins. Um, you guys selected pork chops. Asparagus, guava paste, and my favorite, <laughs> not my favorite, but one of the trickiest <laughs> ones, the chicken Vienna sausage. Um, oh, had to be our. I thought it was pork. This is another curveball, so uh, at least we're going to have some fun with it. So um, the only thing I have on right now is the oven at 400 degrees, and I have boiling water uh, that has salt. We're not doing anything fried, so we don't have a deep fryer on right now, so... Um, I think that's pretty much it. I have free reign of using anything in our pantry, right? So I got some oils, vinegars, spices. Peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter, <laughs> yeah. Truffle oil and all the good stuff. So we'll, we'll see. And then uh, what else do we have? I have alcohol to use. Andre, that's for the salute for the healthcare workers from 7 to 7.03. Awesome, awesome. And then I also have some, my refrigerator. So I'm not going to probably use it yet. We're probably not going there either, but... We'll see what I need. So if you guys are ready, Eric, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready too. Thank you, Lou. You want to start that timer? And you tell me to go and we start. And we're here. And we're going. Let's go. <laughs> tell everybody I say thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. They hear everything you're saying. This is going to be fun for me. So thank I you feel like I feel like Dre's having a good time too already. He's already laughing and clapping. Don't worry. I'll make sure that we get a drink for us as well as soon as I get time. Please. I'm going to start pork chop. Terrell, this is quarantine life. <laughs> this is how we get to have some fun. All right, so I'm grabbing some cumin, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some smoked paprika. I'm pretty much going to grab everything in our coriander. All right, so that's how I'm going to season my pork. Just give me every 10 minutes. Let me know how much time it's going by. Yeah, chef. Thank you. I'm going to start off with our pork mix. So. You got Mercedes and Christy clapping for you right Thank now. They're cheering you on. Thank you, Christy. This is Let's go. Don't mind if I make a mess. Remember, it's time, so. Plus, I will be sweating because it's hot in here. I don't know how I'm going to do this guava puree, but I do know that yeah. guava and pork go well together, so you guys help me out on that since I did guava glaze ribs last time. I see the Yeezys. Fresh, fresh. <laughs> it's my first time actually wearing these since I couldn't wear them in the kitchen. Let's do it. Let's do it tonight, so. Eric, I'm sorry for the mess in advance. Thank you. Yep, 7 p.m. They're clapping for the nurses potatoes, in the background. All right, I'll do something with potatoes. All right, so, all right, so salt. I got my cast iron going. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper first, and then the little spice mix that we made. I want to start my pork chop first because I want to baste it. I want to give it some love, and I want to give it some time, and I want it to be able to have flavor other than just the sauce that I make. All right, just wash my hands. Now we need to close that pantry for me, please. Let's go, Alex. All right. Yes, he washes hands, Frank, before and after. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what we do. I even mean, got soap on me. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Ingredient number two. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, how delicious. Sassy. That smells disgusting. All right, so uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do a potato hash 
with the sausage. So I'm going to use the broth of the sausage to make a sauce. And then I'm going to definitely use some alcohol. So we'll probably do like a bourbon or rum, guava, chicken broth glaze. So we'll see. Potatoes go. I don't know. Lou says sniff the sausage. Uh -huh. <laughs> he wants to sniff it for me or what? Uh. And I got to do how many dishes? Uh. Is it two dishes? Two dishes. Two yeah. dishes. At least I get to taste the concoction too. Even though I'll be tasting throughout the process. Yes. All right, so potatoes. I got cut. I'm going to do some shallots, some onions. Potatoes are going. Let's go that into the salted water. We'll strain that. I'm not going to cook that too much. Thank you. Thank you. Pork chop. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get a nice sear on that. Yeah, that sizzle. That sizzle. It's all about that sizzle. All right, what do we got here? I have onions, I have garlic, I have shallots. Chef, what kind of pork chops are these? Uh, these are bone-in Berkshire uh, double-cut pork chops. Nice. All right, so I got an onion now. This came became my garbage bowl. This is going to be for the hash. So I got my potatoes going. I can't see. Some six minutes left. Make sure that stays open right there. What did I do? I cut down. <laughs> I definitely can't wait, Trill. Trill, what's up, Trill? I'm gonna challenge you next. I hope you know that. I'm challenging all my chefs that have a YouTube channel to do this challenge. So I wanted to start it up and get ready, baby, because you're next. All right, onions, pork chop, no fallen soldiers. I feel bad for Eric because he has to eat this. Oh. This is not usually a planned meal like I normally do. Trill say you can't wait. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. Donovan says, so. oh. We don't know yet. Miss Felice over here. Jennifer? Yep. Jenny from the block is here. You say hi to both of us, hey, Jenny. Salud. Oh, man. I don't know they said I'm winning with this quarantine life. You with are. This you food. absolutely are. They're right. They haven't said one thing wrong yet. <laughs> Alright, potatoes are gonna come out in like two minutes. I need a strainer of some sort. We're gonna start already? No. <laughs> I need a strainer. No, it's a strainer here. I feel like I don't know my own kitchen. No, not a strainer in here. The sizzle got me goosebumps. No, it's just... I'm gonna need a small strainer in the world time. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen? Where's the strainer? Where's the fucking strainer? I'll figure out how to do all that. Alright, so let's turn on the woo, sizzle. Heat on the back. Hila hookah. <laughs> it's supposed to be Alright, so look, I'm taking the sauce or the broth from the Vienna sausage. I'm gonna use that as my base for who knows what. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some guava paste in there and let that start melting down. And then I gotta make some sort of a pan sauce so I can get all the flavor and the drippings from the pork chop. That's how you do layers of flavors and textures when it comes to uh, the food. I'm just doing a mise en place right now. Pretty much all the things that I'm gonna need. I don't know how I'm gonna season the asparagus just yet because I wanna give it some flavor, but I also want the asparagus to stay true to itself because that's the only veggie component that we have. So at least I added potatoes. Let's take a look. Not there yet. We're gonna look for this really beautiful golden brown. We're not there yet. Okay, awesome. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. Sausage, I gotta do something with the sausage, right? Yeah, sure. I gotta use the sausage as well? Or just of course. the broth, that's fine. Right. Yeah, we prefer to use both ingredients. Yeah. No food. No food wasted. See what the audience says. If they want me to use the whole, the sausage. Guys, do you, guys, do you think that uh, he should just use the sausage broth or the sausage itself too? I'll do whatever they say. I got a yes so far. I got another yes. A yes for what? I got one no. Both. I got a lot. <laughs> Andres Ortiz said we out. We outside in, in July. <laughs> That's both. Birthday, so. Sausage top. The sausage too. 
Yeah. Everybody sauces both too. Right, so we're doing both. Awesome. That's it. Majority wins. Majority wins. We're both. Look both. at that. You got Frank with both. Right. Both. Yeah, if you got a few ones, but then both. Mostly both. All right. Oh, even Lisa said everything. everything. <laughs> I smell so bad. It's great. <laughs> All right. All right, I think I'm going to... Uh, Danny Garcia said use a chunk of that too. Ah, uh, if you throw it in, right, we have it. All right, so now I'm going to do um, a sausage hash. I'm going to find a way to give this some love and some flavor because that doesn't have a lot of flavor on its own. All right, that's enough. <laughs> so, Toby, Toby, one, two, six. Uh, I dare you to bite one. That's just Alex. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that raw? No, you can eat it like that. Like this? Yeah, you definitely can. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this in. Really? That's nasty. Yo, sausages with corn and ajo ghetto Yo, style. Sausage with corn, though. But remember, this is not typical sausage. I haven't had this sausage. Since I was like seven years old. They, ask, they say you're brave for doing it. That's, I do it for you guys because I love you guys. <laughs> but look at this. This is what we're looking for over here, Chef. Look at that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Potatoes got to come out. You see? Oh, they said you're cheating. How is Chef cheating? Tell me why I'm cheating. I want to know. I want to know too. How am I cheating? How am I cheating? <laughs> they say use the whole can. No, come on, that's not. You don't have to use the whole can. They haven't, they haven't seen chop. He's not cheating. He's they just real at chop. this. <laughs> this is a playoff on chop. Yeah, this like it's similar, you know. Since I've done similar, yeah. I've been missing competition for a while, and I wanted to do something cool. Uh, they're asking how much oil is in the pan with the chops. Two ounces. Two ounces of oil. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Because there's some fat on that pork that we want to use that has a lot of flavor. Mm. How much time I got left, Chef? Chef, you got 20 minutes remaining. 20 minutes. That's phenomenal. You got 20 minutes. All right. Pork chop is looking good. What's the pan? This well, what's that in the pan? This Rose is rosemary, rosemary sage, and thyme. All three. Rosemary, thyme, and sage. All right. I'm going to need to get a whisk soon. All right. Let's get some color on the skin because that's the best part. Right, Chef? Yes, Chef. All right, we're going to caramelize that skin. Rose, you said thank you for doing this live. Thank you, guys, for joining me. This is when I get to have some fun. All right, hot water coming through. Don't move, Chef. Yes, Chef. This is so real compared to Chop. I know, I'm about to take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm about to take a commercial break. All right, I'm not going to base that till the end. I just want to make sure that we get a nice little sear. Thank you for everybody who voted for Chops. Pork chops. <laughs> Jesus, I was scared it was going to be the salmon again. They don't know that we had salmon last night. So no. Once we saw that pork chop was winning, I was like, all right, let's put salmon tonight. We filmed uh, another episode of Kelvin's Kitchen, so that should be coming out tomorrow. It's, uh, yes, the pan, is the pan on high heat? The yes. pan is on extremely high heat. All right, let's bring this over here. Thank you, Chrissy. Clap for the cameraman. <laughs> this is a hard job, especially when you do it for the first time. So, all right, pork chop chef, boom. Boom, we're going to let that rest. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Cut. Guess what we're doing? What are you doing? We're going to make a quick little sauce. So I'm adding some shallots. I'm adding some onions. I'm going to add some garlic. Someone's asking you why not toast the pork in the oven. I'm pretty sure that's, that's next. That's right next. I got to show you what I got to do with that He's going to show you what to do first. With Multitasking that. at its best. I got to make sure this starts as well. Before the pork chop goes in the oven. Before it goes in the oven. I'm giving it a little bit of butter. Oh. With the herbs. Oh, guys. So that butter's going to melt right on top. Excuse me, cameraman. In the oven we go, 400 degrees. Uh, that's going to go in the oven. What time is it? 18. I'm going to take that out and... Four minutes. Four minutes. Right. Heard you. Sorry, guys. I really wish you could smell. This smells amazing. They ask me, where's the adobo? No adobo. I never use adobo. He never uses adobo. He makes uh, his own. Ask them if they want me to use rum um, or bourbon. Guys, rum or bourbon? Come on. Rum or bourbon. The first five you get to, you let me know. That's the selection. Rum or bourbon? 
Bourbon, bourbon, rum, rum. So far, two, two. Bourbon, rum. Three, bourbon, three. rum. It's literally four, bourbon. Four. Yeah, it's four. Next one bourbon, wins. Bourbon, rum, romo. Which rum, one? rum, bourbon. Next one wins. Next one wins. Bourbon. Okay, bourbon it is. Rum, bourbon. That's it. That's it. I said next one wins. All right, we're using some uh, Legion brand new Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Whenever you flame, you have to be careful. You take off the flame. You add your rum, your whiskey, your bourbon. You flambe if it does. There we go. Woo! Whoa, my eyebrows. It's okay. <laughs> That's part of it. Look at that. Woo! Jesus. Don't be scared. All right, now we're throwing our chicken broth and our guava. Kids, do not try this at home. Please Thank you, Jenny. Yes. He said you burned the microwave. I absolutely did. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's probably the highest flame I've ever seen in my kitchen. And that probably has to do because... Yeah, Legion is very... 94 proof. Holy shit. That's uh... 94 proof, guys. That's probably why you saw that big flame. <laughs> Jenny says she's going to skip that part. <laughs> <laughs> but look, 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 we're getting a sauce, right? Look, oh my god, guava. We're getting a sauce. Look at that. The guava's melting in. We got that Kentucky bourbon. It's a they don't want to. No, the ceiling's fine, guys. The ceiling is fine, I promise. I just called daddy. <laughs> I just That's called 911. All right. Hilarious. So now we're, we're switching that over. All right. All that dripping right back in. <laughs> Dab that bourbon behind the ears, Lou. Oof. Someone's asking you to taste it. I'm not, not sure it's too hot. Not yet. It's not yet, guys. Not yet. But I love that. You're always supposed to taste everything. You're right. We're about to burn eyebrows off. I said the same thing. All right. That smells good, though. All right. I'm going to lower that to the extreme. What am I missing? Oh, someone said 717. Let me see this. 15 minutes left, Chef. 15? That's it? Yeah. 16.34, <laughs> my watch. Why are you yeah. laughing? Uh, Jay, he's like, that step back I did when the flame came up, he was like, it was real. <laughs> <laughs> it was as authentic as possible. It You'll see my, eyebrows when, <laughs> said, like, people, <laughs> see my eyebrows when I taste. He said, people, they want to see my eyebrows. Oh, man, I promise. I will never hurt this guy. Uh, Ooh, wow. It smells great. They said, you're, Marcia, I said, you're so confident, you don't even need to taste it. Who said that? Marcia. Oh, Marcia. No, of course I'm going to eat all my food. Do you know where that pan is from? This Which cast one, iron pan? The cast iron pan? The Stone Ledge is the brand. Stone Ledge. 122. <laughs> all right. So we're going to do two things. I'm going to do my hash here. I'm going to cook our asparagus oh, on this one. They actually talk about that one, the one you're doing the asparagus this on. One? That's the pan, yeah. I don't know. Just What kind of pan is it? Just a, I don't know. No, in general. This you is know, a saute pan. Just a regular saute regular pan. Regular saute pan, yeah. All right, we're going to build some flavor. is the best Cast and safest way to go. Is is good for meats and all that good stuff. All right, first things first, we're going to caramelize our sausage. Uh, I use it often when following the recipe. Oh, damn, it went away. The comments go another goes. A little fast? Yeah, what exactly do rosemary? 10 seconds left, chef. Yeah, Chef, uh, someone's asking what exactly does rosemary, sage, and thyme do for the meat? It adds... Uh, Specifically pork, since that's what Kelvin is cooking. It adds a flavor of um, just herbaceous. Yeah? It's really good. It's really good. That's that, uh, that's that chicken sausage, see? No, it's not. <laughs> You're going to taste it, all right? All right. Uh, We're going to add a little bit more guava, though. That's what I'm missing. I need that... I want you to What's the temp? Uh, the temperature on the oven is 400. 400. I always cook with 400 because 400. That's what they do at restaurants. That's what they do at restaurants. Doing that here to you right, guys. So I'm doing a little bit of shallots. You got to. Let me see. What we got here. <laughs> Fuck. Flavor. Flavor. <laughs> All right. It's fucking hot in here. Oh, that was. What's that smell? Shallots. Shallots. Oh, that yeah. smells amazing. Shallots. All right. So we're gonna do. Can you do it on a nonstick pan? Uh, yeah, you can. Of course. Okay. Put your really don't need a nonstick pan for this. Chef, they're saying you need a haircut. I absolutely do. <laughs> we all need a haircut. Actually, I trimmed my beard yesterday because I knew I was doing this live. I wanted to make sure that I look good for you guys. All right, boom. Boom. Let's take a look at the pork chop. The sausage looks yummy. Thank you. Pork chop is almost there. <laughs> Oh, 
Check the chops. He just did. He just did. <laughs> Chrissy, look at her. You got, another, you got a sous chef over here. Check the chops. We need smell of vision. You, you definitely do. Guys, I've never seen him cook with sachicha in my life. Real sauce is like chorizo. Yeah, like but sachicha, no. But that's how we're gonna get the flavor now. Salt, pepper, smoked paprika. Give me some flavor. Uh, garlic powder. Since we're not using garlic in here, because I don't want to peel them, it's gonna take me forever. Chef, twelve Five, minutes. Twelve minutes left. Oh shit! Twelve minutes left. I think I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Sausage omelet is looking like this. Sausage omelet? <laughs> what a scam! Smells <laughs> oh, good. Smells amazing. All right, let's start this off. Woo! Oh, Chrissy says we need a live cook off. Who will challenge next? I think we have to use some idea what I said before. What? A live? The one with the Amazon basket. <laughs> That requires money. A lot of things people don't have right now. All right. Let's see. All right. I'm making so, your pasta carbonara tonight. So excited. I love it. I'm so happy to hear that. You guys make me smile every time I hear things like that. This is our sauce. I'm going to strain it right at the end. This has the onions, the shallots, the rosemary, the thyme, the drippings from the pan, the rum, the chicken broth from the Vienna sausage. How long exactly with the asparagus? King sabe. <laughs> That took me like two and a half, three minutes. And right, it's, it's, it's already off. It's already off the flame. Yeah, it's off the flame. Asparagus is almost ready. All right. All right. All right. Now, now it's a hash, right? We saw Top Chef not too, week, not too long ago. Somebody called it a hash, but they had no potatoes. So now we have a starch, right? We have a veg. We have our protein. We have a sauce. I think we have a complete dish. Now I got to add some herbs in here. What do you think? Parsley, cilantro. Let's go parsley. First thing I grab. Parsley it is. Chef, we're good on chops? No, we're good. I got okay. my timer. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Someone's asking? I love you guys. No, oh, well, I was asking, but oh. I want to make sure my food is good too. <laughs> you want the spicy or not? Huh? You want that spicy or not? Not too spicy, a maybe. A little spice? It could be a little spice. I want it to mimic the flavor of chorizo, so a little bit of spice, oh, right? Yeah, not too. All right. Start plating. I'm nervous, John. Oh my God. <laughs> How much time I got? You're nervous? Yeah, you you less than 10 minutes, Chef. All right, chili flakes. Don't worry. We got this. As a team. All right, Chef. I'm going in that oven. Let's see what's going on in that oven, though. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, we're almost there. We are there. Oh, baby. So the way I felt, oh, that tastes so good. I'm glad. The way I touch my, my my pork, if you touch the meat before you cook it, do this to your hand, that's rare. Do this, well, that's raw, this is rare. Medium rare, you see it start firming up a little bit. Medium, that's what I'm looking for for that pork chop. So when I touch the pork chop, the way it bounces back is how I know it's ready. It's a little fun fact, I didn't know that. That's the meat test that all chefs know. You do that? Uh... I think we can make we can make that happen, Lewis. Lewis wants to volunteer to ju ju judge next time. Oh, I'm sure everybody wants to volunteer and judge. I think we could do that with the uh, what's coming next. What's next? Oh. Oh, yeah, exactly. Wait, I promised us a drink, right? Yes, but chef, you got time? Well, how much time I got? Eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes, chef. Where's our stuff? What stuff? You Simple syrup. Simple syrup. Is that a soya? No, fine. Never mind. Simple syrup in the back. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm not setting me up for success. <laughs> All right, where is my strainer, right? All right, here we go. Carlos, how you go? Chef is on point. You learn something new every day. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sauce. Damn, but look at those pork chops. Oh, that pork, the pork chop is what's going to be money. Mm. All right. Off, all right. Off. What's all the right. greens you just put in there, Chef? Parsley. Parsley? Oh my God, that looks so good. I didn't think I would like a sausage chai chicha half. Hash. All right, I need a spoon. Who's putting me on last? What happened? Oh. Oh no. 
You got less than eight minutes, quick. Like getting nervous for you, chef. It's hot? Like spicy or both? No, it's hot. Oh, just regular hot. Just regular hot. It needs flavor. That's why I'm tasting it. It needs a little bit of salt. It goes a long way. Oh, it looks amazing. Herbisocious. What? Herbisocious. Herbisocious? Is yeah. that a word? I think so. You want your pork chop sliced or you want it whole? Oh, I'm I want it. An if you give me an option, I want it sliced. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> Right Dora says time. she's drooling. Thank you for doing this. She will be uh, cooking pork chops tomorrow. Woo I hope you guys are all subscribed to my YouTube channel. Because Samantha Richards said five minutes, Chef. Five minutes. I like that. You guys are awesome giving me countdown. Now I got to cut a pork because someone asked for presentation. So I mean, so now. It's definitely about presentation. How much time I got? I believe, like, let's see. Six minutes. minutes. Six minutes. Sorry, six minutes, Chef. My sauce is ready. I can't slice my, my pork chop yet. Like every beautiful dish, you have to let your meat rest. So. Oh. Is that enough time, Chef? Do you have enough time? Uh, we'll make time. Not only we're making Hey, presentation time. is part of it. Yeah, that's what they of say. Course. See that? Presentation. Pork chop here. Let's see what we got going on. Right, asparagus is going. I'm just going to rotate this. That looks beautiful. Look at all that flavor. Asparagus. You know what I'm gonna do with the asparagus? I'm gonna give it some love. You know how we give it love? How you give it love? I'll show you right now. Acid. Acid? Yep. Yeah. Acid. But not that part. Yeah, so it's the 7.27, yeah, but uh, we started three minutes after due to, uh, we are celebrating for the first three minutes of the uh, healthcare uh, workers. I got you right now. Open that timer up. Excuse me, Chef. I'm, I'm going to start. So we got going on, guys. 7.33, it will be stopping. What time is starting to play. How much time do I have? You have uh, five minutes and 13 seconds, Chef. Okay. Worst spoon ever. <laughs> now let's grab like, the biggest spoon possible. Just because, even though I wash my hands. Yes. All right, everything is ready. Christy Turn has faith in you. Turning everything off. All right, presentation, right? So let's do that in the middle. Beautiful hash. I wanted to leave a little bit of texture so I didn't overcook the potatoes. I want you to I want you to taste the ingredients. Mm, look at this. Shut up, Lewis. What Lewis said. We can't I can't I don't want to repeat it. Asparagus make you a pea stink? No. Oh, okay. Something about the stove. What do you said that you gotta clean it? No. <laughs> First time he's seen something in the soap other than he's seen it so clean. No, that he put something uh, something the other than is? than my charcoals. Wow, what a douche! Yeah, basically other than my charcoals. He's All right, like, so our, our pork chop is rested, right? We have a bone. Oof. Oof. Look how juicy that is. That's not actually for the hookah, see Lewis? That's not steak, Shelly, that's pork chops. Oof, oof, oof. I don't eat steak either. Okay, chef, I need you to slide over because I'm going to plate. Time check. You have three minutes, chef. Oh, I love that. I did great. Oh, there's the bone. Come through, cameraman. There's the bone. Make sure you don't get the bone. No bone? Oh, you want to eat the bone? No. Let's see. Thank you, baby. Excuse me. Time <laughs> check. Two minutes and 45 seconds, oh, man, Chef. I did amazing. Look at that. Oh. Yes, we're on. Sorry, guys. 
it froze right when he started to drizzle. They said, yeah, it uh, apparently it said that the temperature was too hot on the phone. It was too hot in the even, kitchen. Even the phone couldn't uh, handle, the heat. handle the heat in the kitchen. How much minutes we got left, Jeff? Are we I, done? I think we're done. Can we, what's the timer? You have it on your. Do you have the timer still? Huh? The timer? Guys, with a minute left. Look at this. Hold on. What else? What am I missing? I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I think we did good. It wasn't the Wi Fi, Francisco. It was the phone. It kind of overheated us. The phone was too hot. The it's phone tough. was just too hot. All right. How we do, guys? Okay. Uh, guys, what do you guys think so far? What do you think? Mm. Thank you. You did great. Yo, look at that. In less than 30 minutes. And now if you guys have such in the cover, you know exactly what to do. <laughs> All right. The moment of truth. Now, now, now it's the moment of truth. All right. Look how beautiful that looks. Alex Bernicelli would be proud. All right. Get a fork and a knife. This is Eric, by the way, guys. He's been hosting with the most thing. Timer is going off. Let's stop that bad boy. But I think I did good. So I took the ingredients. Um, took the ingredients. We cooked the pork chop. Um, what else did we do? I can't even think of everything that I did. We got the asparagus with some shallots and some vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice. I did the potatoes and chicken hash with the chicken Vienna sausage. I used the broth of the Vienna sausage. Uh, we don't have wine. We're drinking some alcohol. So, chef, host. Uh, the guava you use. Guava is in the sauce. Yes, in sir. The sauce? And then those are your four ingredients. The pork chop, the guava. I'm hungry, too. I get to taste this next. Mm. Take a bite out of everything. This is your moment to shine. I'm sweating over here, guys. My hands are shaking. I apologize. It's the endurance and the adrenaline that I have. Everyone is envious of Eric. Eric, I hate you, they say. Don't say hate. Hate is such a strong word. Oh. The really good with The hash? <laughs> we did good with that. Awesome. Mm. By the way, this is my kitchen. We have like four deep fryers. We have an immersion circulator. We have a vacuum sealer. We have everything. We, we, we're ready for the next one. So you guys are going to pick more ingredients. 30 minutes well spent. Okay, can we get some feedback? Because you're not talking. I'm eating. <laughs> you have, really you have 13, 13 more Ooh. seconds to, to taste. I got the kick. You got the kick from the, the, the spicy chili flakes? Yeah. Oh, that, that, the spicy. I got it right now. So this is, the, uh, Lewis says, this is the few times in uh, talking with your mouth is uh, full and it's worth it. Then it's worth it now? Yeah. The hash is amazing. Be honest. Be, I need everything honest. The only thing I don't taste... Can you tell much? me good first and then start oh, with bad? Sheesh. Know, right? My man's ready to throw me under the no, bus the already. Plate, the plate itself was great. Everything was good. Uh, I mean, there's really no complaints about it. Like I said, the chili wasn't overpowering. It was really good spiciness. Talk about the that four ingredients. We have the pork chop. How is that pork chop cooked? Pork chop's cooked perfectly. Awesome. At least in my opinion, I love it the way it is. I like medium, so it works out. Even though I don't really but pork, I prefer medium. Awesome. Uh, the asparagus, it was great. Amazing season, obviously. I love it. Um, the hash, again, with the perfect spice. You use the sachicha. How's the sausage? The sausage is great. I love it. it <laughs> we added a lot. We added a lot of flavor to that sausage, sausage yes. so because it, it tasted like nothing. Maybe you could have diced some of those smaller. Yeah, dice them smaller. Yes, yeah, chef. Okay. You're absolutely right. I, I should have worked on my knife skills on that one. Bit. Um, other than that. And the sauce is uh, it's amazing. The only thing I don't take is, is the guava. guava. Yeah, that's why. I, and I added and I added extra guava. So other than that, A plus. A plus. A -plus. Woo -hoo -hoo! I'll take that. This is not a bias. I did make a mess in the kitchen, it's but it was it was well worth it. This is my dish here. Um, <laughs> we had. I'm just fixing you guys. Uh, we had a great time. Um, I appreciate you guys joining. <laughs> um, I get to taste this now, right? Go. Everybody's asking, where's the wine? We weren't that set up yet with the wine and everything. I just wanted to make sure that we got this uh, under control. It was my first time. I'm not going to lie. I was a little mm. bit nervous. Um, but uh, that pork chop looks up for sure. But yeah, so... Um you know the hard, I, mean, I would you know, love to do this again. You know the hard part? Of course you could. I would love to do this again. I agree with of everybody. Course, of course you would want to do this again. again. It this, was fun. I'm glad. You got, the, <laughs> I, I, I think the best part about it was the interaction with you guys, him letting me know what you guys were saying at, at all times. Like, see? It was entertaining. Pork chop. 
was really, really well seasoned. I'm surprised for this hash. I did pull a lucky straw in the quarantine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get more difficult ingredients. Oh. Actually, does this stay on your... The sausage is still funky, though. Like, I, know, I don't, that, like, you know why? I don't like the chicken, all, and Vienna also, sausage you, flavor. You left it in a big piece. Yeah. If you would have cut it, if you would have diced it, I think you would have been better because it would have been more mixed. No, I, I, I see it. It's, it's, it's good, but... Look, can't wait till next time. See that? The we need to figure out a way they can... Um, they said they want more a crazier... Ingredients? Um, ingredients. Okay, so what we'll do is... Um, I'll do a poll next week on my Instagram... And, um, <laughs> just face. <laughs> was good. This was fun, though. And I'll let you guys throw out ingredients. And uh, I'll pick the top two craziest ones and put those in a poll. So at least we'll have one really, really, really crazy ingredient. Um, but the, sp the spice fl flavor is really mm -hmm. nice. I get a little bit of kick. I'm not a fan of that sausage. I don't think I'll like it no matter what mm -hmm. I do with it. Yeah, chicken and sausage are not and that great. Guys, a little confession. My mom had bought them for me. <laughs> that she was not my that. pantry item. So because of that, I was like, I never used it. I'm like, I'm not going to use them. We can throw it out. So then when it came down, so he's like, oh, maybe we should do something like this. I was like, it's great. Let me get rid of something that I know I don't want. And hopefully they vote on it, which you guys did. So I appreciate that. And was it a chicken and Vienna sausage or a cream of chicken soup? Scam. <laughs> yeah. I never cook with stuff like that. So it was fun. It was fun, though. Look, yuca, Look. Cornish hen. They're already throwing ideas at me. You guys were awesome. I'm so happy you guys tuned in. Trill Cooker, Beauty by Christy, I love you guys. Thank you. Um, I'll take a couple minutes. If you guys have any questions, if you think we can improve this in any way, <laughs> quarantine confessions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll take some questions now. I appreciate you guys having fun with us. We're trying to find new ways. I love that. Notifications turned on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that seat too. Somebody just said the best part of this all is that we can watch this over and over. You can? Yeah, I guess this is my first time doing a stream. You want me to that? Come on the other side. Can I see me? I got it. So this is the first time doing a, a live stream. So I really wanted to try this out. How else would I have incorporated the guava? Um, turn it off. Yeah, please turn off the oven. Like now I understand. So the issue that we had, the oven, um, the phone said that it was too hot. The temperature was too hot. Um, I think uh, how else could would have incorporated the guava? I think maybe I should have made um, more of a sauce, like a guava barbecue sauce. Mm. Um, that way I could have glazed the pork chop, and the pork chop would have had more of the flavor. That's what I would do different. My top must three pan have pans in the kitchen. Um, you have to have um, a saucier pot which I'll show you what that is. You have to have um, a cast iron skillet, uh, which is what I cook the pork chop in. Um, and you have to have something that's uh, stainless steel, like a big sauce pot. Um, I make all my soups in there. Um, I make my uh, tomato sauces, anything that you can't make into um, in an aluminum pan, you know? So a lot of my uh, cookware, I use all clad, which is very expensive, but it lasts you a lifetime. And I use Caflon. I'm thinking about the guava barbecue now too, so we're, we're learning. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't think about it because I've done it in one of my recipes. What ingredients do I use most? Um, I would always say I always have bananas, uh, potatoes, um, rice, um, and then I rotate. I would say chicken is uh, the top one. Right now, lately, I've been using chicken a lot because I've been wanting to show how versatile chicken is and how you can use chicken in so many different ways. <laughs> I came in late. What did you cook? It's okay. We can replay this later. We did. Um, I did a little competition. Sherrick seems to be enjoying the dish. You see, he's still going in. Uh, the hard thing for me is when I cook, since I'm constantly tasting things, I can't enjoy something that I cooked. There's times where I'll sit down and I'll cook for friends, and everybody's like, "Why are you not eating?" I'm like, "I'm tired. <laughs> like I want somebody to cook for me." Edward, my cousin, salute to you, brother. Would you ever make a mofongo? I would make one. I've never made one, me personally. I made um, a mofongo croquette once, which was pretty cool. The hardest thing was to keep the texture and uh, be able to uh, keep the mofongo moist on the inside. I hate that word, moist. <laughs> moist. Moist. 
some of my personal favorite dishes are the dishes that you see on my YouTube. And it's not a lie when I keep saying tonight we're doing one of my favorite dishes. Am I going to do a, a live on my, my am I going to do a live on my arepas? Yes, I will do a live on arepas uh, when I get one million followers on Instagram and one million followers on YouTube. So <laughs> you guys keep sharing if you want that arepa recipe. We're only nine hundred nine thousand and six the away. What was your favorite dish your mom would make? Uh, pollo guisado, uh, pernil, and lasagna. Those are my mom's top three favorites that I, that I eat that she she makes for me. I know one million is not enough. The problem is when that one million happens, you're not going to get my arepa recipe. You will get a arepa recipe. That's what I said. See? Listening is key. But shout out to you, Christy. <laughs> People start following. <laughs> you guys have been doing a great job. Um, Mm, lasagna. Would you ever do a video split challenge with Bobby? Whatever Bobby wants. I'm ready. I'm two wins and he got nothing. I think he wants a redemption. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy a lot. He's, he's, I've earned his respect. I think uh, I think my friend Eric over here is enjoying the dish, just saying. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. I had fun. I appreciate you guys. i um, going to buy a couple more things to make this easier for us. Everybody needs that arepa recipe, I know. Um, what are some pantry items that I have at home? Okay, besides an amazing liquor cabinet, um, let me switch this around so you guys can see things that I have on a regular basis that I use. I use a lot of different spices. Um, I always have truffle oil. I think ponzu's a must. All these canned products are things for our mystery ingredients next time. Rice wine vinegar is a must for me. Um, what else? I love this stuff right here. Truff hot sauce is incredible. Shout out to them. They sponsored me before. They gave me some amazing products. Um, but yeah, I use a lot of different spices, um, a lot of different types of salts. Ponzu is one of my favorites. You can really make some awesome dishes. The next video that I have coming out is actually a truffle ponzu uh, sauce that will be able to show you how you can take a normal salmon and really take it to the next level. Um, wow, these comments are flying in. What do you like more, Ducey or Hennessy? That's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't burn our eyebrows off, right? I'm still good, right? We're good. Eric, you're good. Eyebrow check. I wish we would burn some hair. No, no, we're good. Uh, some beer, I, just the beer here. We, we, we held everything. <laughs> we held it on. Um, I had so much fun doing this. I cannot wait to do it again. I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna rewatch this so I can see all the comments and try to comp and comment back to all you guys. Thank you so much. I love you all. <laughs> People are still going in. How does he to do say? That's a personal preference. Personal preference. They have all been very amazing to me. Um, <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Eric. Mm. That's been amazing. Hope to see you next time. Host with the most. <laughs> That's great.